Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP on Multiple Columns and Return Text. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. We've exported data from two different systems. One system has class, subclass, and component, and the other system has class, subclass, and component with a bunch of related values. Our objective is to look up this class, subclass, and component from this lookup table and return some related values. The problem is there's not a single ID column that we can use. And typically we would think of doing such a lookup with the VLOOKUP function, uh, but there's not a single lookup column. So we're gonna look at an alternative using a get and transform query. Step one, we gotta get this table loaded into the query editor. We do that by heading to data from table range. This is gonna open up the query editor, give us a preview of our data table. This looks good. So now we close and load two and what we want to do is we want to create a, a connection only, only create connection. We don't want to send these results back out to another Excel table. So we only create connection, click load. And now we've got that query in Power Query. So let's go to table two. Do the same thing, click any cell, data from table range, get it loaded up into the query editor. We look good. Now we close and load two. We only create connection and click load. Now that both of these queries are available inside Power Query, we need to combine or merge them. The way that we do that is data, get data, combine queries, merge. This will open up the merge dialog and what we do is we pick our two tables. So in this case, it's table one and table two. Now, we need to tell Excel how these two tables are related. If we had a single ID column, we would just pick it, right? But we don't have a single ID column, we have multiple columns. So we need to select multiple columns. How do we do that? We click on the first column and hold down shift and click on the final column. And Excel will give us the order here, one, two, and three. This order needs to line up to the order below. But they don't have to be in the same physical position, they just need to have these same numbers. So another way to uh, select multiple columns is to hold down control and then we can independently click them in any order that we want to and that would be fine. So the, the key is though that this one, two and three, they need to line up to the related columns below. So in our case, we have class, subclass and component. They're all in the same order. So I'm just going to click class, hold down shift, hit component and I can view that we have one, two and three. Now I do the same thing below. Click class, hold down shift, hit component, one, two, and three. And so these are all lined up, and so we are, we're ready to go. In this case, we have um, join kinds. The most appropriate one for our task is a left outer join. Here's the description. It means we want everything from here and find the related values from here. Depending on what you're working on, a different join kind um, may, be, may be helpful. So um, anyway, in this case, it's a left outer join, and we just click OK. This is gonna pull our results into the query editor. And here we have everything from table one and then all the related values from table two. And here we have class, you know, AB101, AB101. This one is JJ101, JJ101. And so these are all the related values. What we wanna do is pick which columns from table two we wanna to return to Excel. And we do that by clicking this expand icon. I don't want all the columns. I just want to pick some. Maybe I want price, I don't know, bin, warehouse. And I don't want the original column name as a prefix, and I click OK. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Not a single VLOOKUP in sight, right? I know, it's amazing. Um, and so now our hard work is done. Now all we need to do is close and load to, send the results back to a table in a new worksheet, hit load, and here we have um, performed basically what is a VLOOKUP um, on three different columns without concatenating them or combining them into a single lookup column. And we've returned numbers as well as text strings. Okay, And the beauty is next month, maybe there were some additional transactions here or there are some additional values here. We don't have to go through the whole query editor again. All we have to do is right click and refresh and, and we're done. All right. So Power Query or a Git and Transform Query is an amazing tool, uh, and I hope it helps. All right, thanks. Have a great day. This 
video is a production of Excel University.